think this is the first version of A Christmas Carol where I have cried actual buckets at the end of it. I'm talking, you know, hot, fat tears dripping down my face. And I guess that's in part because I love Kelsey Grammer, but also because this is, I think, my new favourite version of A Christmas Carol. Thank you so much to the person who recommended this to me. I didn't even know it existed. And it was released in 2004, so I do feel a little bit bad that I wasn't actually aware of it. But I have to say, it is absolutely stunning. It's not perfect. There are a few things that I will point out that, that maybe were a little bit imperfect, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Its full title is A Christmas Carol the Musical. It's directed by Arthur Allen Seidelman, with the music by Lynn Ahearns and Mike Ockrent, of course, based on the novella by Charles Dickens. As I've mentioned before, I love A Christmas Carol. It's my favourite Dickens novel or novella and I love adaptations of it. I, I absolutely adore them and I was so excited because I love musicals and I love Kelsey Grammer and we have Kelsey Grammer playing Scrooge and the first thing I want to say is he does an absolutely fantastic job of this. Absolutely love him as Scrooge. Perfect, perfect casting and I won't go into too much detail about the narrative but it follows the basic narrative of A Christmas Carol a lot more closely than some other adaptations I've seen quite recently where Scrooge is a bar humbug at Christmas time. He's all about money, not about giving and he gets visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present and yet to come. Um, I believe it's called Ghost of Christmas Future in this particular version. And he's shown the error of his ways by looking at his various different Christmases and the emotion in Kelsey Grammer's face, particularly with some of the Ghost of Christmas past scenes, were very moving. The Ghost of Christmas present, um, brilliantly played by Jesse L. Martin, um, was a great character, but the scenes revolving around that character I didn't particularly care for. They, I felt like they added less than the other two spirits. And that's not necessarily the case with some other adaptations. So for me personally, that bit didn't work as well as others. Whereas The Ghost of Christmas Past, played by the brilliant Jane Krakowski, I was very excited about that casting. Um, really, really loved that. I thought she was fantastic. Those scenes in particular. And one of my favourite scenes, uh, and one of my favourite songs, I will mention a couple of songs that I love, but I loved absolutely love Mr. Fezziwig's annual Christmas ball. The song was fabulous, the choreography is mesmerising, the costumes the costumes throughout are fabulous, really love them, but particularly during that scene. Um, another song I loved is, I don't know if it's called this, but The Lights of Long Ago, the one sung by Ghost of Christmas Past. Such a beautiful song that I will hopefully find on YouTube or similar to listen to independently because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and there are various other songs throughout that I love but they definitely stood out for me as being particular highlights. The Ghost of Christmas Future is played by Geraldine Chaplin, another really brilliant performance and the scenes there were really stunning, very captivating and beautifully done so that worked very well for me as well. Something that didn't work for me and this is such a weird thing to be disgruntled by but I did not like Jacob Marley's costume, the ghost of Jacob Marley. His costume seemed almost stage play-like. Whereas, obviously, with stage play costumes, they're often over the top, unrealistic, designed to be much more easy to see from the back of the auditorium. Whereas, when you're in film, they can be more subtle. But I felt like his costume just felt cheap. And that's not the case with any other character. So I don't know why I felt that with him in particular, but if you felt the same or not, you know, I'd love to know what you think. But the rest of it didn't really feel cheap. Um, there are some amazing bits of um, cinematography. One bit that I loved the most, and I mean genuinely excited by, is when the ghosts started coming out of the floorboards and out of the walls. I just thought that was beautifully edited and really compelling, and I absolutely adored it. We obviously get a lot of emotion in this film as well, not just from Scrooge, but from Tiny Tim and family. Um, Jacob Collier plays Tim, Tiny Tim, um, and he's, he's fabulous. A little bit older than I would have expected for the casting of Tiny Tim. Not a bad thing, but I feel like if Tiny Tim works better when he's a little bit younger, he also looked a lot healthier than I was expecting as well, but the performance was very good. Edward Gower plays Bob Cratchit, and... Uh, yeah, a lot of emotion there as well. The the street scenes were absolutely brilliant. The, the music is gorgeous. The costumes are great. Some of the Cockney accents 
our needle <laughs> they're not perfect but I wasn't really that concerned and I actually don't mind a bit of over the top cockney accents when it comes to a Christmas carol because it's just part of the atmosphere the ghosts or spirits of the Christmases worked very well as I said the middle one the ghost of Christmas present the ghost was great the scenes not that interesting but everything around it I absolutely loved as a big fan of Kelsey Grammer I have nothing but praise for his performance the songs were absolutely beautiful particularly love Jane Krakowski I'm going to see if the soundtrack's online or even if I have to buy it um, because I want to listen to it uh, on its own but I think this is my new favourite up until this point my favourite was the Jim Carrey version and I still love that version but I have to say the 2004 A Christmas Carol with Kelsey Grammer might just be my new favourite version of one of my favourite stories of all time